All right, so we've got a beginner abs workout for you. Go ahead and get down on the ground, and we're gonna get started. From here, all I want you to do is plant your heels on the ground. Keep your abs engaged, shoulders down and relaxed, palms forward, and all I want you to do is twist from side to side. You can always add a weight if you want, but for now, don't even worry about it. What I really want you to think about is twisting your body from side to side. Try to keep your head pointed forward toward us so you don't get dizzy, but really start to work on your range of motion. Breathing. Nice. Keep it here. You can always play with your levels. The more comfortable you get with this and you want to start to make it a little bit more difficult, you can always bring your heels up off the ground, but for now, just keep your heels flat down on the floor. Twist, twist. Let's just stay here for about 30 more seconds, getting your body warmed up. Nice twists. That's it. Strong, stay with us. Now we're reaching our hands all the way down to the ground. If you can't get your hands there, you can only move from side to side, that's great. You're still getting the same work. Twist. We got about 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five more, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, rest your hands on your knees, lift your head up, get a nice stretch in your back, round the back, drop your chin into your chest. Next move we're gonna do, going on a little kayaking race. From here, exact same position with your lower body. Here's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about getting that kayak in the water, get that paddle down, and turn, big range, turn, turn, keep rowing. Keep going exactly where you are. And again, if you're just starting out with this and this movement is even too much for you, you can always get yourself some sort of mat you roll up, you can grab a pillow to rest into your lower back. The stronger your back is, stronger your abs are gonna be in this position really round, big range of motion. Looking nice, good. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your hands on the ground, fingers pointed toward your heels, and all I want you to do is lift one leg up and the other leg up. Now, I want you to really engage into your lats, right underneath your arms. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. The more comfortable you get with this, we're gonna add both legs up. It's lift. A little slower, you guys. It's up and down. Lift, lift. It starts to get to be too much in your lower back or in your abs. Go back to one foot. Stay with us for a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, grab on to your knees, lift your head up. We're gonna do another set of those. Drop your chin down. Twist from one side to the other. Come back face front, hands back down on the ground, fingers pointed right towards your heels. And again, both knees lift up, lift. Keep your abs engaged, keep your shoulders down and relaxed. Keep your lats holding this position. Up, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, hold it up, hold it. Stay here just a few seconds. Good, relax, relax, stay here. I'm gonna take you right back into the position. I want you to hold it, hands back down, lift it up. And if you can, just try to push your legs a little bit straight. Bend, hold, push, bend, relax. One more time, relax, drop your chin down. Head up, one more time, let's go. Hold it, push, straight, push, bend, push, hold and slowly relax, lie on your back. Now, 
All I want you to do is imagine that you're in a chair lying on its back. So get your legs in a 90 degree angle. Hands are stretched out on your sides. Good. Just like that. Good form. From here, all I want you to do is roll your knees up toward your chin, lifting your lower back up, and then down. Up and down. Lift, down. Try to relax your neck. Head relaxes. Lift up. Roll up. The stronger you feel, the more comfortable you get with this movement. You can straighten the legs out. Roll it in. Straighten it out. Roll it in. Push, in. That's it. Let's go eight, push, Seven, those abs engage. Six, looking real good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, try to straighten your legs all the way up to the ceiling. So now we've got a nice 90 degree angle here. Hold it just for a few seconds. Hold it. I'm gonna give you a break in a second, but just try to keep this position. Energy shooting out through your heels. Energy shooting out through the backs of your knees. Straighten here, straighten it, and relax. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna go back to that position, but just rest for a second. Nice, go back into that position, legs straight up. And now, all I want you to do is try to lift your heels up to the ceiling and down. Lift that butt up just about an inch and down. Lift, up, good. Control, control, five, four, three, two. Hold that butt down, push those legs straight. Now, hands behind your head and crunch. Crunch, keep your legs up. Crunch, crunch. Bring that chest up nice and high. Lift, lift. I want those legs straight. Good. And now, starting to add the lower body, bring the knees in as you lift the chest. In and out. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Looking real good, crunch. Stay with us. That's right. 10 minute beginner abs. You got 10 minutes, you wanna get a little ab workout, throw this in, get down on the ground. It's gonna be a great 10 minute workout for your abdominals. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, keep the upper body going up and down, just drop your feet down, basic crunch, lift. Here's what I want you to think about. Tennis ball is right underneath your chin. Shoulders coming up. So don't think so much about just like crunching in as lifting the chest up. So you are lifting up. <sighs> Lift, eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, hold it up. Take your left foot, cross it over the right. And now, reach the shoulder over to one side. Lift, three, four, five more, six, seven. Hold it, hold it here. Exact same thing, other side. Cross the other foot, take that opposite elbow and knee. Lift, looking good, stay with us. Five more. Eight, nine, hold it up. Keeping your abs engaged, put both feet flat down on the ground, both hands behind your head, lift your chest up, stay here, you're almost done. Now, I'm gonna just take you one more level and then you'll be done. With your chest up as high as you can, reach your arms back behind your head. Hold it here, hold it, and give me five 
lifts. Up, two, three, four, hold it. Hands back behind your head, elbows tight. Pulse, 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 almost done, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold it up. Hands behind your head, hands behind your head. Hold it and relax. Hug your knees into your chest. Good work. Extend one leg out as you hug your right knee into your chest. Relax that extended leg down to the ground. Switch legs. Hold it right there. Both knees, hug in. And just roll yourself to a seated position. Roll it up. Twist to one side. Other side. Face the front. That was your 10 minute beginner ab workout. Excellent job today.